Motorola launched several devices this year, from the flagship to the entry-level segment. Among the most interesting budget phones, there are the Moto G62 5G and the Moto G52. The former is a 5G phone, but its specifications are less impressive, while the latter does not support the 5G connectivity, but it comes with a better spec sheet. Should you sacrifice the 5G connectivity in order to get a better phone, or is it better to opt for 5G, because the specifications of the first device are sufficient for your needs? We will try to answer this question in this comparison between the specifications of the Motorola G62 5G and the Motorola G52. It is almost impossible to distinguish the Moto G62 5G from the Moto G52 because their appearances are almost identical. They have a flat display with a centrally placed punch hole and the same appearance for the rear camera module, so they look very similar. But there are a few small differences. The first one is the overall dimension, with the Moto G52 being slightly bigger due to its wider display. Further, it is thinner than its internal rival, and it comes in different color variants. Charcoal gray and porcelain white instead of green and graphite. Both the phones are water repellent, but they do not have any certification against dust and water. They are pretty elegant devices to be just budget phones, especially because they come with narrow bezels and punch hole displays, as well as good color variants. Do not expect an amazing image quality from the displays of the Moto G62 5G and the Moto G52. The former comes with an average IPS LCD panel, sporting a full HD plus resolution of 1080 by 2400p. Nothing special, but it has a high refresh rate. The Moto G62 5G wins the refresh rate comparison, because its refresh rate is 120Hz, while the Moto G52 stops at 90Hz. Is it possible to feel the difference between 120Hz and 90Hz? Definitely yes. However, the image quality provides by the G52 is higher, because it comes with an AMOLED panel. Note that these two displays also differ in their diagonals. 6.5 inches and 6.6 inches, respectively. The fingerprint readers of these two phones are both side-mounted, even though one of them sports an AMOLED display. Usually, the chipsets from the Snapdragon 400 series are inferior to the ones from the Snapdragon 600 series. But this is not the case. The Snapdragon 480 Plus 5G SoC is actually better than the Snapdragon 684 g found on the Moto G52. Not not only it does support the 5G connectivity, while the Snapdragon 680 does not, but it even provides better CPU and GPU performance, thanks to the Cryo 460 custom cores, running at a max frequency of 2.2GHz, and the Adreno 619 GPU. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 680 is built with a 6 nanometer production process which makes it more efficient, so the battery of the Moto G52 might last longer in several scenarios. Last but not least, you can get more RAM with the G52, up to 6 gigs, while the G62 5G only comes in a single memory configuration, with 4 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of native storage. These handsets run Android 12 out of the box with a nearly stock experience. There is not any difference between the cameras of these two devices. They are equipped with triple rear cameras, including a 50 megapixel main sensor with an f1.8 focal aperture, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens with an f2.2 focal aperture, and a 2 megapixel macro camera with an f2.4 focal aperture. It is the classic setup of budget phones, nothing special, but they are not disappointing. Pointing. They are able to shoot sufficient photos for social networks and so on. The front cameras come with a 16 megapixel resolution, and even in this case, we are talking about the average front cameras of budget phones. The Moto G62 5G and the Moto G52 come with the same battery capacity, 5000 mAh. But given that the G52 has a chipset built with a better production process of 6 nanometer, its battery life is potentially longer in several scenarios. That is not all. The G52 even comes with a faster technology to charge the battery, thanks to a 30 watt power. The starting price of the Moto G52 is $260, while the price of the Moto G62 5G is yet to be announced. Overall, if we exclude the 5G connectivity, the Moto G52 looks like a more interesting phone because of its AMOLED display and faster charging. But the G62 5G has 5G and a better chipset, so you should not underestimate it. Thank you for watching. I am very glad that you are watching my channel. Do not forget to hit the like button. Have a nice day and see you soon.